You know, the crazy thing is, is I was watching, I was actually recording a video for you guys off of Tony Hughes' YouTube, aka Charles Anthony Hughes. And as I'm recording it, and then I try to go back to it because I kind of recorded it wrong, it says video unavailable. Like, literally as I'm watching it, YouTube wiped all his videos, his whole entire YouTube channel. And I think I know why. And I think I know why. But this isn't why I wanted to make this video. The reason why I wanted to make this video is because Tony is running away. And he's running away from something in Pattaya. I think he's running away from the danger in Pattaya. I think he's running away because it's not safe in Pattaya. Because of what happened to Leo. Because of the mob. You know, the people that run the prostitutes there. I don't feel like it's safe for him and Pattaya, and that's why they're running away. And I can prove this because he talks about how small his apartment is and how he can't live in it with four people, how it's just so small, and they're looking for a bigger p apartment in Bangkok. And I'm going to show you all those clips that I already recorded. They're going to be cut up a little bit, but they're still pretty much whatever's left. And I know why he, I know why they deleted his channel. I have a, well, there's a, probably a number of reasons, but, but yeah, we'll get into all that after this. All right, I know I've talked about my cookbook on here several times, but I just want to touch on it and let you guys know I updated the table of contents. As you can see here, I put a lot more content on this actual book. I've added new recipes, like several recipes in the last two weeks. Uh, and I want you guys to have the opportunity to grab this book. If you go to my website, you can get the cookbook. And just look at, look at everything in this book. Look at everything it comes with. Like... Go through and read the table of contents. Like you will be surprised on how much content this book actually holds. How much education. How much you guys can learn off of this one book. And the beauty of it is it's a live book. I'm updating it weekly. I'm updating it daily. I'm updating it monthly for you guys. I'm putting in, you know, at least five recipes daily. So, or not daily, at least five recipes monthly. If not more, if not more, usually two to three a week. So I want you guys to be aware of that. And uh, you can, like I said, here's my website. You can grab it. You can go to the website and buy it. I'll email it directly to you right away. So you have a live copy and you'll actually be able to watch me update it throughout the week. Like you'll personally be able to see me on there probably typing some days. All right, guys, let's get back to the actual video. Taking my azitamide for my cholesterol. XMS stand to keep my estrogen down. BPC-157 and sodium butyrate to recover my gut since yesterday I ate two whole pizzas and I am gluten intolerant so it wrecks my stomach. This will fix it. Alright, I gotta stop him right there. I don't understand why you would ever take a pill form of BPC-157. I'm sure the bioavailability is, is pretty good, but injecting it is going to be a hundred times better. 100 times more effective. I'm sure that, like I said, I'm sure the pill form is pretty decent, but you're talking about an internal injury in the body. Wouldn't you rather spot inject it? Like if you had a shoulder injury, wouldn't you rather inject into your shoulder? I mean, I know with BPC-157, you can inject it anywhere and it's going to help repair the body, right? It's going to help the gut. It's going to help with inflammation. But if you're trying to repair an injury, I would much rather inject it over take a pill form. I've seen the studies on it, it's always done by injectable form of BBC-157 and TB-500. So taking a pill form, buying a pill form is just, just a waste of time. Fast. The health three-in-one for my probiotics and antioxidants and all the other health supplements in one so that I can just take a few of these pills instead of handfuls of individual supplements. Every day we're looking for a new bigger condo because this condo is a little bit small for Connor and I and a total of four people in the condo every day with one bathroom. This is another reason why I think that he's on the run. He's living in Bangkok right now in a small condo with four people and a very uncomfortable condo. And like I said, he's on the run from someone that he's worried about. You and Pattaya, something's going on. People are out to get him. It's not safe for him. It's not safe for the girls that he was surrounded around with. It's not safe for anybody. So they left. 
And like he said to Amin, he doesn't want to come back to America because he doesn't want to seem like he's guilty. But Amin's like, look, if you go to jail there, it's over. You're done. If Thailand officials put you in jail, you're not going to get out. So, and I'll sh- I-, I can show that clip as well, but you can also go back to the Amin video that I posted not too long ago and you can find that clip. And also, this is one of the reasons why I think his channel got hit with sp- multiple strikes because he shows a lot of like nudity in his videos he shows a lot of explicit content which is still pg-13 but it's just a lot of it and i'm pretty sure he's got strikes for that because you can't show that kind of stuff like you can't even put a girl in a nice bathing suit on a on a cover photo just so you understand the magnitude of how strict youtube can be and this video is no longer on there that's why i keep putting video unavailable because literally this you cannot find these videos on there anymore Okay, so and then also look at the bottles that he's showing. Isn't it ironic how all the bottles are very full? Like, I honestly don't believe he takes all this stuff. I think he's just it's his company. He's trying to sell product. I don't think he takes all that stuff. I think he would much rather inject a lot of that stuff versus taking it orally by pill because he knows how much better it is when you inject, you know, certain compounds. So that's why all the bottles are full, in my opinion. Overall health and relaxing my tight muscles. Blue Ox Test Booster for the rest of my men's health supplements all in one. So again, I'm just taking like some of each of these and then it's as if I was taking like 30 different supplements. So I, I've been drinking these protein shakes just because they're super convenient from 7-Eleven here. So I drank a couple of those this morning already. Nice. Yeah. I've eaten nothing yet. I probably should get in my first serving of protein in the day. All right. These are the SARMs we're working with today. So I'm going to take AC262, 20 milligrams, and she's going to take one Osta muscle, Osterine. And I'm giving her one every other day of Osta muscle for just a short period of time, and then I'm switching her to AC262. Why the awesome muscle to start? Because it makes girls really horny, but it can have the side effect of overstimulating the clitoris. So we don't want to be on it so long that her clit grows. I mean, we can evaluate if that's some long-term thing we want to do later, but for now we don't. My question is, why do you want to make her horny? Like, is she not horny on the regular? Is she not wanted on the regular? Is it because you're like 30 years older than her? And she's not attracted to you to you like I, I just don't understand that i can understand giving her austrian if you wanted to make her like leaner and tighter and kind of make her into a fitness model but that's her choice that's her choice that's not your choice i'm just going to keep it safe and switch to ac262 soon i just want to see what she's capable of on the austrian first but then i have a whole giant natty plus stack of supplements it's literally a full handful worth of supplements so it's actually quite a lot of work to take each morning, but gotta do it. Get that physique going. Yo, I'm sorry, but I see this every video and I don't understand. If someone can explain to me this weird behavior that Connor does in almost every video, like someone explain it to me. I mean, honestly, I don't care what it does or how it helps. You're not going to see me do it because it just looks so stupid. <laughs> it doesn't make any sense. I just think it looks so dumb. It's like somewhat demonic, you know? That's what it reminds me of is like someone that's somewhat demonic. That's what I see and visualize when I see that behavior. In the morning, we work on gathering our video clips from the previous day and organizing them and then working on my coaching clients. Connor's got this pimple sort of uh, inflammation on his armpit here and so we're putting I'm putting DMSO on it for him for the first time today that will help it recover much much faster get the inflammation down and then he took oral BPC 157 where's the bottle oral BPC 157 to get the inflammation down and recover the healing process as well So now I've taken my general health supplements and my muscle building supplements, which is just the SARM, plus I'm on testosterone replacement therapy. And I am doing a little bit of Mastero so that I don't get gyno because I'm super sensitive to it. And then uh, actually taking a little bit of finasteride, like one milligram twice a week, resuvastatin.
it's a shame with all that knowledge and all that experience and, you know, all about longevity and biohacking that he couldn't come up with something to fix those scars on his face from the nasty puberty that he had where when he was at a young age, Charles Anthony Hughes had some intense, intense acne, which scarred his whole entire face up. It's a shame that he couldn't find anything for that, even though there is something out there. Um, but it would, it might help a little bit, but his, his scarring on his face is extremely intense. 10 milligrams twice a week at night before bed. Ibuprofen, 200 milligrams, uh, maybe two to three nights per week before bed. That's an extremely low dosage of, of ibuprofen uh, for ongoing inflammation reduction because my body has a lot of inflammation uh, from when I work out and stuff. And so now we're moving on to the nootropics stack. Oh, 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 look at my nootropics. Oh, look at that Vinpocatine banned in the U.S. now. All right, let's talk about Vinpocatine since he brought it up, right? It is a, a powerful enhancer of cerebral blood flow, right? It has proven effective to dozens of humans that had strokes or dementia or cognitive impairment. Some studies that demonstrate Vinpocatine's potential to safely treating many other health issues. It acts as an anti-inflammatory, antioxidant, and neuroprotector. People taking Vinpocatine as a nootrophic reportedly made more sharply defined senses, sight in particular, and a slight antidepressant effect, okay? And it also has therapeutic potential okay so a lot of vinpocatine comes in as 30 milligrams so you know if you're ever going to try this i would try way less but 30 milligrams is pretty much the average dosage it can increase blood flow to the brain it has benefits for hearing disorders and benefits for vision disorders you know patients with glaucoma by increasing retinal blood supply you know i, I would wouldn't mind even trying it myself because of my eyesight is is more on the low side it's not i don't have the best eyesight so i have to wear glasses so it would be a good study for me i'd be a good candidate to try it just for that see if it you know the increased retinal blood flow see if it would help uh can it's been used for heart disease uh, antioxidant comparing vinipocatine as nootrophic and the has been found only vinipocatine as an effective free radical scavenger with benefits found to be dose dependent, suppresses production of reactive oxygen species, ROS. Vinpocketing is an anti inflammatory, uh, acts as an anti inflammatory, both viv vivo and vitro, inhabiting the NKFB and inducing pro inflammation cytokines. Vinpocketing in cancer. Some studies have shown that the cells found in vinpocketing halted cell and actually halted the cells. And, and some cancer studies showed that vitro and vivo mice breast cancer cells found that vinpocatine powerfully inhibited pro pro life ration of the number of breast cancer cells induced death of cancer cells and prevented migration of cells wow additional benefits have showed that immune modulator features potential therapy and treatment of autoimmune disease vinpocatine has found that to basically help with menopause and lower the total of LDL cholesterol in women. So excessive, excess fat particles in the blood. Vinpocatine effectively treated fetal alcohol spectrum disorder in mice, though. So not on humans. In a study of workers who have been involved in the cleanup after Chernobyl disaster, vinpocatine was the number one, was one of the number of treatments associated with wide-range health-promoting effects and ability to work. So a lot of positive things there when it comes to vinpocatine. You know, the reason why I wanted to go over this is because I've been going over nootrophics a lot lately, and I figured I would touch on this. Um, let's just check the side effects before we continue this is, if this is something you're not big in and you, you're not you don't like my other videos because i do a lot of videos on it like right now i'm doing a lot of videos on nootrophics right so that's why i wanted to talk about this and if you like this kind of stuff if you like when i talk about certain compounds and certain nootrophics you know check out my other videos that i already made it's it's called let's discuss let's talk nootrophics let's basically where i go over them and and teach like basically educate myself while educating you to understand them more right 
uh, dosage ranges from 15 to 60 milligrams. That's why you see about 30 to 40 milligrams when purchasing that. Uh, memory improvement, better focus and concentration, better learning, better mental clarity, mood enhancement. Uh, let's see. <clears throat> Has several effects on the brain, the most important of which is enhancing blood circulation and oxygen utilization. Benpocketing increases blood flow in the brain without affecting circulation or blood pressure throughout the rest of the body. It has been shown to specifically target damaged brain cells and areas of poor circulation within the brain. The increased blood flow and related oxygenation of the brain tissues make the brain more tolerant and reduce its insufficient oxygen related to stroke or other brain pathogens and injuries, increased in blood, throw, blood flow and related oxygenation are believed to be the significant nootrophic effect on healthy brains. And studies suggest that it improves mild cognitive impairment. So that that sums that up. You know, I just wanted to talk about that since he said it was banned in the United States. And I figured we could talk about it right now. And I hope you enjoyed this little segment. But let's get back to the actual video. Not not a huge deal, though. It's not one of the most important things. When I run out, I run out. It's okay. But some of the more important things that I'm going to take. Oh, that doesn't belong in there. That's my Telmis Harden. Yep, I'm going to take a Tebasartan also. This is a new bottle. And that's to keep my, keep my blood pressure down and protect my kidneys, 40 milligrams. And I'll also take a Nibivalol, 5 milligrams, which is in the other box. That's to keep my heart rate down, protect my heart. I mean, it seems like a lot of supplements, but these are the things that protect me from all the normal things that happen bad to people, like heart attacks, cancer, uh, diabetes, like I won't be getting any of those things. I find it very disgusting and very, just very sickening to sit here and for you to say that you won't be getting any of those things. Now, I'm all about a positive mindset, but we also have to understand that the only one we should fear is God. And God is the only one that ha is the des deciding factor if we get cancer, if we get diabetes, if we get this. I mean, yes, our life choices have a lot to do with the illnesses that we, we get and we create for ourselves, right? But to sit here and for you to say that these nootrophics, that these supplements are going to are going to completely just stop you from getting diabetes, cancer, or any heart disease is just insane. It's just absolute insanity. Like for you to sit here and to say, oh, I won't be getting any of those. You, you don't get to decide that. That's not your choice. I mean, yes, you're probably making a lot of, you know, decent choices to prevent those. But on the contrary, like to be honest, you're really not because you're pumping yourself full of all these supplements, all these supplements that are you know aren't fully tested on humans so you're probably if you do have cancer and you're everybody has cancer cells in their body don't get me wrong but if you could be feeding that cancer you just don't know you don't know because there's no long-term studies on the drugs that you're putting in your body so you don't know if you're feeding that cancer or not you don't know if you're you're feeding a tumor or you, you just don't know. So don't sit here and say, oh, well, I won't be getting those because that's bullshit. Because people like that, people that act like that are usually the ones that do get those. And why? So you could be humbled. I mean, it's, it's that plain and simple. You know, I don't know. Some If you're really about longevity, you wouldn't be taking 50 different supplements a day. You would be taking what, what matters. You would be eating what matters. You'd be eating the correct food. You'd be everything would be spot on. And, it, and it's not. It's not though anymore. Uh, so I will take um, some Hooperzine, and I'll take an Alpha GPC, and I'll take a Dihexa to rebuild new brain cells. Much more effective than all the other stuff people are using on the market. I don't know why anybody wastes their time with injecting things for building new brain cells when we can take this so much more powerful. And uh, Bromantane for stress release and anxiety and just for dopamine stamina during the day and paracetam for mental performance and what else am i going to take today let's see which one i'll take them right after i set the phone down ah ooh, i've been taking 9 mbc but it's too strong too much dopamine i get too excited like butterflies in my stomach <gasps> feels like this <gasps> excitement and it's too intense, and then it makes it hard to sleep at night. If I have my dopamine's too high, then I'm like, <gasps> I'm too excited. I want to do stuff. I don't want to sleep. 
so this is being part of an upcoming video that I do where I talk about how, how like when you mess with your dopamine your serotonin you're messing with these levels constantly your body is going to get used to taking these nootrophics to where when you're done taking them if you come off of them your body isn't going to be able to develop and to make the amount of dopamine and the amount of serotonin that your body actually needs and you're going to get this terrible thing called anxiety and once you get anxiety you're going to have to actually see a psychiatrist or a doctor or a therapist to get on a long-term SSRI that way you can help increase your dopamine and serotonin levels throughout your the rest of your life because you completely diminished your dopamine due to taking way too many nootrophics not taking them sparingly and being responsible you're gonna have withdrawals you're gonna feel like crap I, I can't stress this enough the decisions that this man is making and the decisions that he is basically pawning off on you individuals that are watching him is just disturbing just completely disturbing he is causing you guys to think that this is the right way to do things because of you know because of the positive effects and it's like cool if you want to do this every now and then like once a month cool you want to take a nootrophic but if you're taking them every single day you're only causing adverse effects on yourself that are going to hit you in the future it's going to hit you you know later down the road and i would highly advise you not to listen to anything that this man says and <clears throat> and just because of this i don't know how you could even want to hire this man as a coach honestly i don't understand this is this is just pure this is disturbing information my friends the optimal amount of dopamine to have at the optimal times instead of just having more dopamine or less dopamine it's all about timing with the dopamine the kitchen in this condo is too small so instead of cooking we buy these for two dollars <laughs> it's like we really are living like college kids here mm -hmm. <laughs> just full meal prep Taking an allergy pill. This one is Claritin, I think, but I rotate between different ones. Yep, that's a Claritin generic. And then 5-amino-1-MQ for anti-aging. Maybe one of the most effective anti-aging supplements on the market that doesn't get the attention that it deserves. Much more effective than NMN and nicotinamide riboside and NAD+. And I'd much rather take this than doing NAD injections, and I think this is more effective. I can't believe he's going to sit here and say that that's more effective than NAD plus IV therapy. I'm literally sitting here getting a thousand milliliters of fluids with NAD plus therapy. Like literally as I'm doing this video, I'm actually going to turn it up and make it a little bit faster. The drip a little bit faster. And it takes a while. Don't get me wrong. You have to do it. It's a slow process. It takes a couple hours. Okay. But the effects that NAD plus has on the body is it's, it's so good. It's so good. I can't stress this enough. It's good for people that are addicted, people that have withdrawals. It's good for people that, um, it's great for brain clarity. It's great if you have brain fog due to you coming, like a lot of people that have alcohol, like they're alcoholics and then they come off alcohol. Like I would highly recommend NAD therapy for you at least once a week. It is expensive, don't get me wrong, but it's so worth it because it gets rid of all the brain fog. Like honestly, when I'm doing it, I can feel my eyesight get better. Like like right now, when I take my glasses off, like my eyesight is a lot better. Like usually I take my eye, my glasses off and everything's blurry. But right now, as I'm doing my IV therapy, my eyesight is so much better than it usually is. So much better. You cannot compare a pill to NAD plus IV therapy. Are you, like, I just don't understand that this, this guy's mind thinks like that. Like, you would much rather take a pill that your body has to digest, that your body has to break down, your liver or your kidney has to absorb for it to even work, and you're going to sit here and say it's better than NAD plus IV therapy, something that goes into your vein. Like you're a, that's just the dumbest shit I ever heard. The dumbest shit I ever heard, people. But like, how could you trust this man to be your coach? I don't understand. If he's saying stuff that's not factual, that's not even real life. You know what I mean? Like this, this is insane, bro. It's insane that he truly believes this. Tony was investigated that day, and, you know, he still doesn't like going back to Pattaya. That's why he stays in Bangkok right now.
don't know the reasons why. I would get the fuck out of that country if I went. I said the same thing. <laughs> I, t I, I, I had a conversation with Tony. Yeah. I said, you need to get the fuck out of there because once they arrest you, it's it's going to be like Midnight Express. You ever seen Midnight Express? Oh, I did. Okay. Yeah, well, yeah. It's going to be the same thing. And then the, and they're, they're, oh, you're a lawyer and they're going to get some Thai lawyer in there that's going to translate for him. Yep. And, oh, you know, sign this paper and you'll be out. He signs the paper and he fucking gets 20 years in a Thai prison where they're raping him. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, that's what I, and I told him to get the fuck out of there. Get out of here. So, What's the, yeah, and then what, you know what he said? He goes, well, if I leave, I'm going to look like I'm the suspect. I'm like, motherfucker, if you leave, you're not going to get arrested. You, you you're can always come back in six months. Yeah. You know? So, so I don't think it was a joke. You think Tony is truly being followed. That's what Yes, you know, Tony's being followed. Okay. Yes, he is. And, I, and I, I told him to get the fuck out of there and he's not listening. Yeah. I, so I, I, would. I, don't know what to, I don't know what else to do. I personally spoke to him on the phone for two fucking hours. Yeah. And I said that, listen, I don't give a fuck. Leave. You have your passport. You're not being arrested. You no. haven't been charged. But in Thailand, you don't get bond. Once they arrest you, yeah. that's it. It ain't like me in America yeah. where I have my fucking rights, where I could be like, you know, this is against my fucking civil rights. You have to release me before my trial. No. In Thailand, they do what they want. And remember, he's the white man in their country. Yeah. They will do he's what they the fuck they want to do with him yep and it's just a matter of, listen if they took almost two years to arrest me in america you don't think that they could arrest him in six months that when that autopsy comes back you notice how he pauses right here <laughs> exactly exactly but i believe the autopsy has came back i know the i don't know if the official one did because you know, I asked Lucy. She never really got back to me, and that's all. That's okay. She doesn't have to. Um, but she's messaged me a lot, and she did say she trusted me. What's that's all that matters, right? But that's all I got for you guys today. It's just crazy. It's been a crazy day. Just wanted to prove to you guys that he is in hiding. He is running away from Pattaya. He's running away from something there. He was being followed. Is being followed. I proved that. And his YouTube channel did get deleted for probably putting ladyboys on there, drugs on there, you know, P, uh, you know, sexual content, yeah, sexual content, you know, half naked women, you know, YouTube doesn't play those games, you know, and he was he was on thin ice probably for a long time. He probably had multiple strikes, and that was the final strike. I, I'm surprised YouTube let him get away with it this long. You know, but this sums up today's video. I appreciate you guys watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you guys for watching. Please like, please comment for the sake of the algorithm and please subscribe to the channel. Thank you. God bless and have a great day.